Hey guys, hope you're all doing very well. We're going to do a very quick video update here on Bitcoin, really homing in on the lower time frame uh, price action, just to try and determine how high we can potentially come up before going to the target that we previously discussed in the last video of 13 and a half K. That's a minimum downside target, which can be fine tuned nearer the time. But for now, we need to determine what is going on here. So we're really being led by two pitchforks. So this is the main one that I'm following right now. So first, second, third pivots, original pitchfork on the log scale. And you can see we cleared the median line of this pitchfork. OK, so there was a shout for it potentially to come up to the next line of resistance, which is this 0 0.5 line, which could still be possible. OK, but if we home in now and just look at the one hourly, we can see we've kind of done a three wavish move up to here and got rejected. Now, obviously, this is a weak market. The downside target is what I'm looking out for, 13.5K. So any move up is likely to be pretty weak. Uh, I think it was probably the it was the 200 week simple moving average that pinned us down around this 22.5K mark. But the question is, are we going to come down from here? Is this going to mark out our temporary uh, high leading to our continued down move to 13.5K? Or have we got another move up before we come back down for the big move? OK, so this is what we're going to discuss in today's video. But uh, the way I'm looking at it, if I look at this chart in isolation here, just looking at Bitcoin, um, I see for just from an Elliott wave perspective, probably like a three wave move up to here. That's corrected. So then we're looking for another three wave move up to complete like a WXY scenario. <clears throat> now, as far as I'm concerned, the initial move up, I would say that is proportional to the initial leg up here. OK, which obviously led to a pullback and another wave up. So I've got a feeling we could have made the initial move up. We've got a pullback and then we could make one more move in. And that would be quite linear. I'm quite so regular looking with this pitchfork. You can see the shift pitchfork. We fell a little bit shy of the upper median line. Ideally, it would be good to hit the upper median line at least, uh, hit it or overrun it slightly. So there's this intersection here between the upper median line on this smaller pitchfork and the 0 0.5 line of the bigger pitchfork. So that's an interesting level that I'm looking at. It does mean slightly overshooting the 20 weeks, sorry, 200 weeks simple moving average. If we just pull that up a moment, uh, let's just home in on that one. Let's just zoom in right there. And let's take off the other annotation so we can see it clearly. So this is our 200 week simple moving average. So we basically came in just very shy of it here, but we could just tag it and maybe slightly overshoot it with that next move up that I mentioned. If we just go in on the, sorry, we need the weekly. Um, yeah, so as you can see that intersection right there, it just slightly overshoots the 200 week simple moving average, but not by too much. So I've got a feeling we may potentially have another run up before getting that um, drastic move down to around 13.5K. Previously, we spoke about a potential move up as high as 24K. But as I say, this 200 week simple moving average, I've got a feeling it's going to weigh heavy on the market. And I think it's going to act as that resistance barrier. Uh, it may have already pinned out the top here and we may just come um, rolling over straight down straight away. Um, but as I say, I've got a feeling that we're going to see a bit more consolidation, maybe just taking us a little bit higher before we go back down. Um, so just taking off that moving average. So we've covered kind of the Elliott wave and the pitchfork point of view for this uh, bit of price action. We are obviously beneath this median line, which again is a show of weakness. Um, I would certainly not be looking for any longs during this move. As I say, in my opinion, it's a very weak market. I would not be looking for longs right now at all. Um, it's, it's, this is only a, a situation of looking for short opportunities as far as I'm concerned right now. So the other key thing to look out for is the fact that the NASDAQ, which I mentioned, uh, is what I'm really looking for correlation with uh, crypto on. So you can see we've been following this downward pitch for really nicely. We're here on the four hourly time frame. Now we have we managed to get above this upper median line, as you can see, we currently sit above it. And I was looking at the scenario as a, a three wave move up. So a first wave, a second wave and a third wave potentially coming up to here. Now, I do still think that that is possible. So we may still see that and that would tie in 
with Bitcoin making that slight move higher into around that 23k mark. Okay, so if we zoom in on the hourly, we can just see where we sit. Yeah, so we're still above this upper median line here. So as long as we're above here, I've got a feeling the consolidation in Bitcoin could be a little bit more prolonged, may take us into the 23k, just making us a smaller time frame, uh, higher high. Um, however, if the Nasdaq comes back beneath this lower median, sorry, upper median line, then I think Bitcoin is just heading straight back down en route to 13.5k. All right. As it stands, as long as we stay above this upper median line, I've got a feeling Bitcoin can just put in another shorter time frame, higher high. So just coming back to Bitcoin. So I've got a feeling we could, this could just be the first leg up, the second, and we've got a third leg up to here. Okay. As long as the NASDAQ stays above that upper median line. So that is the invalidation point really for that potential move up. So as I say, could make another move up. It would be pretty regular in, in the sense of this pitchfork, you know, coming up and hitting the upper median line. Um, and from an Elliott wave perspective as well, it would have completed like a, this W X Y scenario also. Yeah, so that's what I'm looking out for. Of course, if the NASDAQ comes down beneath that level that I mentioned is very key. So this upper median line here, then the odds are Bitcoin is just going to start heading straight back down and probably not revisiting this high. OK, so these are the two charts that I'm really focusing on to determine where Bitcoin is going to go next. So that's how I'm looking at things right now. Obviously, we'll try and keep you updated um if there's any changes to this analysis but for now this is the kind of play that i'm looking out for all right guys take care